Thanks to Daniel Fletcher for sending me Mausoleum, uh, a movie that I had seen before and I needed it within my collection because it's just a cracking movie from 1983 directed by Michael Dugan and this is all about Susan. We, at the start of the movie we understand that Susan's parents have died and um, she's at the cemetery when she goes into a mausoleum and is strangely affected. Jump a number of years to she's a, a woman with a family and a large house and she's starting to have strange events happen within her life. Now, of course these events are all horror centric because we're watching a Vinegar Syndrome horror movie and a lot of the effects that she is suffering from seems to be green eyes and a heaving cleavage. I'm not really complaining about that though. It's a kind of low budget movie but it packs a lot in to the story with special effects as well. The special effects are absolutely awesome in this film and I think Susan is Bobby Bressy is absolutely amazing in the main role. I love a lot of the scenes in this one, uh, particularly uh, the gardener at the start of this whom is more than a little bit lecherous. He is definitely looking for some uh, form of payment other than money uh, throughout his course of work and to see uh, the character of Susan kind of rebut him and then tease him in and then kill him in a bloody fashion was just incredibly funny. But he's one of these characters whose dialogue just had me giggling, um, especially when he's like post-coital uh, chit-chat is all about him being a ladies man. I've uh, had some women in my time, some of them real pros. It's just kind of funny. Uh, I love a lot of the, the special effects like I've said, even when you do see the wires, I don't care. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, it adds to it. You know, these movies probably weren't expected vinegar syndrome transfer as they've got here and they're a little bit obvious in places but most of the other ones are terrific. Which brings me to one of my favourite uh, sub-characters, the secondary characters in this, The Maid. Got away. The maid is absolutely amazing. Um, some of her uh, language that she uses is just downright hilarious. Good googly boogly. I tried to tell Mr. Farrell there was something wrong. I need a drink of the good stuff. I absolutely love it. There's a scene specifically she knows there's something wrong with Susan uh, the, the, her husband Susan's husband has just left and she just she starts this trite of language is just wonderful downing drinks having a great time shouting mother father <laughs> in such a wonderful way I just love that character no more grieving I'm me. It's all about a woman being possessed and we, of course we've got to have someone that's going to solve this or figure this out which happens to be her psychiatrist doctor who under hypnosis discovers that there's a demon inside of this woman in a wonderful sequence. What Kurt's name is? And he goes on the kind of pilgrimage to find out more about the supernatural and how he could possibly stop this. But it's all about the body count. And the body count's really cool and fun and we get enough uh, gore in these sequences to keep us uh, pleasantly surprised and happy. They're, they're, they're absolutely wonderful. There's one where a chest is ripped open. It's just stunning. Stunning work. Uh, really well done. It's a movie that uh, ticks all the boxes in both cheesy and giggling language while being cool with the special effects and having a really fun storyline that doesn't languish too long uh, on the downtime before the next fun sequence arrives. I I really like Mausoleum. I think the character of Susan, like I said, played by Bobby Brezzi, is just wonderful. I love the change in the dynamics of the character where she's a little bit softer and a little bit more conservative to when she becomes downright uh, just demonic at times and then she, she really pushes the, the boat out and shoplifts a painting, <laughs> which is just bonkers. Uh, excuse me, huh? how much is this one? 
<laughs> uh, the whole finale within the mausoleum as well is just fun. Uh, and then it even even ends off with a, a stinger uh, kind of thing where it makes not a lick of sense at all that why that person is in the cemetery laughing like a, a maniac. Um, it really doesn't. I don't know if they're trying to allude to something, but it just, you know, I, I, I'm watching this and I'm like, this laughing scene is going on too long. And before you know it, I'm laughing with it, just going, this is just damn ridiculous. And I love every second of it. Mausoleum is an incredibly fun early 80s horror movie. It is low budget exploitation, it has great special effects, it's got laugh out loud dialogue which is intentionally supposed to be funny, it does really well and leaves me wanting more. Mausoleum, great film, I think you should pick it up, thank you for sending it through to me Daniel, I really appreciate it and of course if you want to let me know your thoughts on the, the film, use the comment box, let me know. Uh, there's videos up here that you can check out if you want to see more of my content or you can hit this video with a like if you think I deserve it and maybe even join the membership program for some exclusive videos or join Patreon if you just want to support me. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.